Welcome to this review and little comparison of the you know, ThinkBook 14S Yoga and the ThinkPad L13 Yoga Gen 2. Um, what offers the ThinkBook and what offers the ThinkPad? So how can you decide which one to choose? Well, both of them are pretty good, uh, pretty good build quality. And I guess if you are in the position, so you have to decide to choose this or that, you already know a lot of them, uh, a lot of the facts of the notebooks. So you know the fact sheet, maybe you already read some tests or, or so. So I just want to give you my impressions of the notebooks and my pros and cons. So first of all, the ThinkPad has a better screen. If you take a look at the tested notebook check, for example, they tested the Gen 1 and it is a bit brighter than the one of the ThinkBook and the colors are better. So it is. it seems to be pre-calibrated and you see that if you just look at it, maybe not in the camera, but in real life, the colors are simply better, um, darker grays are better and it just looks better at all. Um, but the ThinkBook has a slightly larger screen, it's 14, where this is just 13 inch. Um, so that is the first thing. Second thing is that there is some anti-glare um, finish here. So it might be um, better for you, it depends on what you're doing with it. Um, but it, it has clearly lower reflections, so even if you would not know it has an anti-glare surface, you can see it in real life. It still reflects a bit, but it's really it's better. It's just better. Um, so it might help you if you want to work um, with bright uh, light over you, for example, if you're in a hall or in the school or wherever. Um, so these are the big advantages of this one. Um, the um, a big con about the thing pet for me is that the fan is actually pretty loud, especially if it's plugged in. Um, the, I did not manage to, to, to configure it so it still keeps quiet um, with just little loads. So even if you're just um, editing, editing uh, documents and, and browsing with four or five tabs, uh, it, you, it already turns up the fan. Even though the temperature is just between 40 or 50 degree, it's already hearable. Um, it's better in, in, in battery mode um, and I did not manage to change that so I, I checked all the BIOS settings and set it to balanced and um, changed the Windows energy setting and stuff but I could not manage to, to get it quite. I had a little conversation with the dealer and he just said well that's normal. So this one is not as silent as this one and it's not as cool so temperatures are higher and it's louder. So it's kind of uh, crazy because the ThinkPad is the more expensive one and it should be an, on another level than the ThinkBook. The ThinkBook is more like a budget business series of Lenovo. But it is cool and quiet so it actually could be made by AMD. Um, big disadvantage here is just the pen. So this is the pen of the ThinkBook. And this is the pen of the ThinkPad. This is a pen of a surface. This is a pencil. And this is a pen of a Nintendo DS. So I'll show you the pens and you can guess which one is the best for writing. Well, obviously the um, Surface Pen is a good size. The ThinkPad Pen Pro, which comes with the ThinkPad L13 Yoga, is actually pretty okay. So you can ride with it for a long time. The pen that comes with the ThinkBook is really pretty small. It's nearly as small as the one from the Nintendo DS. Um, you can use it for notes and, and maybe for, for just short sequences of writing, but for longer writing time I would really recommend getting another pen. Still you can just put it in the device so 
it will not run out of battery you can use it anytime but yeah it's just really pretty slow and that's it so this is the big disadvantage of the um, ThinkBook it's just the pen and the screen okay it's not as good as the ThinkPad but it's not a game changer especially the color thing uh, for people who, who work with them I think uh, this one is pretty good as well if you want to edit photos or videos uh, you will probably use another screen anyway so yeah this one is cool and quiet this one is hot and louder um, but has the better pen um, this one has a battery um, life that is really far better than the one of the ThinkPad so ThinkPad battery life um, Probably you can you can get uh, your work done for a whole day, but you should better put the power supply with you, and this one should last. Um, it has 60 watt hours of battery, and this one is just 46, so it's more than 20% different. Um, so obviously the battery life of the ThinkBook is better. And all in all, if you don't need the pen too often, and if you um, do not really care about having the best monitor but just having a still good screen you should go with the ThinkBook I think because the ThinkPad is more expensive, it's louder um, has slightly, really slightly um, um, worse benchmark results because it needs to throttle a bit earlier because of the um, cooling problem um, yeah so ThinkBook is actually a pretty good device um, if you're not um, necessarily need a ThinkPad with the trackpad and the separate keys and everything. So this was my little review. Just let me know if it probably helped you. Even let me know if you got a ThinkPad L13 and the fan is quiet so probably it's just a problem with this model. I'm not sure about this. Um, if you have a look at the cooling system by the way this one has two heat pipes and the ThinkPad is just one heat pipe so the cooling system at all is better with the um, ThinkBook, but still, if Lenovo would manage probably with a BIOS update, a better fan profile, better thermal management, energy management, whatever, they could make it quite. Um, if you are in battery mode and select um, low energy quiet mode, for a while it is okay, so there must be a way to, to just prove this problem, to fix this problem. Um, even if it's plugged in, but currently this one is loud and hot, and this one is cool and quiet, so, well, and it's cheaper and has more battery life, so if you don't need the pen and can deal with the screen, go with the ThinkBook. That's my opinion, let me know yours and let me know um, if you fix the fan problem with this one. So, enjoy your time, enjoy your notebook and have a good day, bye.